trail of an iconic business in the high country will make way for much needed housing. Hudson Chevrolet in Silverthorne on Blue River Parkway will be closing up shop next week. Our Matt Croshaw there right now. And Matt, every time I drive by, I rem I'm reminded it's prime real estate. Oh, absolutely, Jim. They were actually going to close down today, but they have been so busy selling cars out here that they're going to stay open a few more days. Again, selling this place to developers who want to make it into a live, work, and play uh, type of development here right in the core of downtown. It's, it's really a, uh, a bittersweet day. A nearly empty car lot after decades in business, now calling it quits. Just a matter of time before people really saw the opportunity here, and I know our community's really excited about um, being able to experience a vibrant downtown. The sale of this iconic car lot is a sign of the changing times. The Silverthorne pushes to reimagine itself and struggles to find housing for local workers. It's a legacy property with a beautiful history and we want to honor what the town is trying to do. We want to honor the history of the Hudson family and what they've done to this property. Resort Concepts is proposing a 152 unit residential development they'll call Park Lofts. It's next door to where other developers want to add the 4th Street Crossing development in downtown, meaning more retail housing and business as Silverthorne grows. This has been around since I was two years old. We started in Leadville and then uh, came over to Silverthorne. All of this is bittersweet for the people that have sold cars to generations of the same families. And it's something that we care about because we have been here so long and we feel like family and we lived up here and uh, grew up here. It's an end of an era. Developers tell me they hope to be breaking ground on this project by the spring of next year. They don't have any approvals yet from the city council. We're live tonight in downtown Silverthorne. Matt Croshaw covering Colorado First. All right. Thank you, Matt.